Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can create this racing game. So this is part one of the tutorial series. In this part we will do the start and the end, so the whole track included the checkpoints and the timer that runs meanwhile in the game. So I prepared a few things. So we have this start here, just just a static mesh and um, box collision. We have these checkpoints here where we have these smoke effects on the side of the road. Also a um, checkbox, so box collision, then spawn point, it's invisible, it's just a sphere element. And an arrow that we know which direction the checkpoint is going. Then we have this finish here, also just static mesh and a box collision. So let's start up with the widget. So use interface widget and we call this racing underscore widget. Open this up. And I want to do two things here. Just keep it simple. So we need a text element. This text will be the message that shows up when the player hits a checkpoint or finishes the race. Let's put this here in the middle, like that. 150, great. So, and we make this a variable. Then we put a second text inside here. This will be the time underscore text, as well as a variable. Great. So now we go to the graph. We can delete everything here and we need two more variables. The first one will be finish, just a boolean to see if we finish the race. And the second one is the time. This will be a float. So this is just our time that runs when we do the race. So let's start up with two more functions. The first one will be the timer. So for this, I want to create a game instance. So let's go back, blueprint class, we type in game instance. Let's call this racing instance. Open this up. And also we need two more variables here. The first one is the widget itself. And we select our racing widget object preference. And the second one is the best time. The best time is a float. And that's it here. So just go to the project settings, maps and modes and select the racing instance right down here. Great. So let's continue with our widget here. So we have this timer. So we get our time text. We get our time, of course and the time will be float plus float. Put this to 0 0.1. And then of course we want to set the time to the new time here. Then we want to set the text, of course, to the new time here. So like that. Great, so this is our timer that adds up 0 0.1 to the time. Second function is get finish. So this is when we cross the finish line. So we get the game instance cost to our racing instance and then of course we get the best time. We get our time here. And then of course we want to check is the time below the best time. For this we need a branch to ask. So if it's of course we want to set the best time to the 
time. And after this, we want to set the finish to true in both cases like that. So this is when we cross the finish line. So now we will add up a new input value. So project settings, input, action mapping, and this will be the respawn. So I put the respawn on R, whatever you want. And we have to do one change in our car that we're using. So we call our respawn function and we need another variable that will be our spawn position. The spawn position will be in transform. So we get it out here. We need the reference to self as well. And we need our mesh. So the first thing is we want on the respawn to set all physics linear velocity to nothing because the car should be stopping. And then we take out our spawn position and say set actor transform. And self is of course the target. And we want to teleport this one and that's it. So this is our respawn function. So now let's start up to build our racing game. Of course, we start with a start. So we take out our box collision here, say on component begin overlap. Then we cast to our car. In my case, it's the Firebird. Then we create a widget. We select our racing widget here. We get the game instance. Cause to our racing instance here. Then we go from the racing here and say set widget. We will set it to the return value here like that. And then we just add to viewport the return value of the widget like that. So now we go from the widget here and say get finish. So the boolean. This is what we are asking here up here. So then we go from the widget again and call our timer function. That adds up something to the timer. So we need the delay here of of course 0 0.1 seconds. And then we go to the branch. On the false case, we go back to the timer. So we have this loop here and it will break up when we finish the race. So this is our start function. So let's go to our checkpoint. It's pretty the same thing. We go to our box collision here, begin overlap, cause to our firebird. So we take out our spawn point here, get wilt transform. Then we want to set the spawn position to the return value like that. Then we want to play sound at location. Right click, split structure pin, put the location inside here. So I have just a little sound for the checkpoint, this one here. So we put this up here. This next thing is we get the game instance again. Of course, cause to our racing instance. Get the widget. Get the message. And then we want to set the text. like that and we set it to checkpoint. Then we want to set the visibility to visible of course. I uh, forgot to say be sure when you have the go to the message box here we have the visibility and put this to hidden of course. Let's go back to our checkpoint. So we set the visibility copy and paste this. So let's say we have a little delay here of one second. 
And after this, it goes back to hidden, like that. So this is our checkpoint here. So it sets the spawn position, play the little sound and shows up the checkpoint and then goes hidden again. So let's finish our tutorial and the race with a finish here. So again, begin overlap. We cast to the Firebird again. Get the game instance again. Cast to our racing instance. Get the widget. Call the get finish function that we created. Get the message. Set the text to finish. And then set the visibility to visible. So let's see if this works. We'll play, drive through the start. The timer is starting, as you can see. There's the first checkpoint. We cross this. Let's press R to respawn, as you can see, works as well. So let's drive to the end of the race. So we cross this checkpoint here. And there we have the finish line. We cross the finish line. It says finish. The timer stops and we have our best time. Great. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know. And yeah, goodbye.